so this is what my hair actually looks like. The trick with using hot rollers is to make sure your hair is 100% air dried, that's why mine looks pretty messy. Don't worry because the rollers are going to add shine, volume, smoothness, and add that gorgeous body and volume to the hair. Just make sure that your hair hasn't come in contact with a blow dryer or a hair straightener in at least 24 hours, otherwise the rollers won't take. So I always start in the middle section of my head, rolling backwards around the biggest roller and then just clipping it into place. Then I do my front section and my bangs, rolling backwards and clipping into place again, and then right behind that middle roller as well. So we have one, two, and three. Divide the hair into three sections, so one on either side of the head, and then one at the back as well. Divide the side section into two parts. So you have an upper part which is about two thirds and then everything below the ear is gonna be added to the back section. Take a medium roller and wrap it around and make sure those ends are nice and tight. Even hold on to the ends until you get up to the top where you can tuck it underneath and then clip that into place. The same on the other side, everything below the ear is going to be added to that back section. So then we're rolling two thirds of that side section around a medium roller and clipping it into place. Don't worry if you're using all the same sizes, but if you do have different sizes, use a medium. The back section is then divided into two, so we have an upper and a lower part. And I use the smallest roller possible and wrap it around really, really tightly to really hold that curl at the back of the head because it's the hardest part to hold a curl. Before I allow it all to cool, I actually take my bangs out and it was rolled backwards, but now I'm going to roll it forwards towards my forehead and this will just add some shape. Spritz with some hairspray just to kind of hold the curl and then just allow it to cool. You want to make sure you allow it plenty of time to cool down, so do your makeup, listen to some music, maybe read a book. This is the Makeup Chair Handbook, which is actually my book, so I don't even need to read it because I wrote the whole thing. <laughs> Once it's 100% cooled down and there's no heat off those rollers, start to take them out. And I actually back comb each section as I go along and this just adds a little bit of volume right at the roots. And then I just kind of play around with it. Sometimes I just run my fingers through it. Sometimes I actually brush out the curls and they will form again. So don't worry about brushing them out completely. And you'll just get a lot more of a softer finish. And I always add some oils to the end of my hair because otherwise they can look a little bit fried. But that's it. That is how I use my hot rollers. It's super easy. It's very little damage on your hair as well because they're not super hot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Check back on Friday to see this tutorial on this makeup look and I'll see you guys then.